What's good, y'all? It's the Demon Chef, Saria, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, make sure you scroll down. Hit that subscribe button. And turn on the post notification bell. Because we're on the road to 50K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. Black people, black artists, <clears throat> stop minimalizing your creativity. Uh oh. We should do it all. Physical comedy. We should do drama. Mm. We should do, you know, romantic comedy. You got to do slapstick. You got to, we should be able to cover all oh, forms man. of our expression of comedy because white people don't do that. White people don't sit there and go, man, look at, look at Dustin Hoffman wearing that dress. Wearing a, wearing a, look at look at Robin Williams wearing a dress. There you go, Robin yeah. Williams wearing a dress again. Didn't Dustin Hoffman look at the top. He won. Did he want to? Black people get screw, skewered and scrutinized. White people win statues. Rob Ooh. Williams won a Golden Globe for Mrs. Doubtfire. Dustin Hoffman won an Oscar for Tootsie. And do you see any white people screaming that about them? Black people, we have been so hurt and so damaged through slavery and all that we've been through that we think we have to uphold ourselves a certain way. We The best way we can uphold ourselves is to support each other. Mm. Don't be crabs in a barrel trying to break each other down. They do that. It's It's been in our psyche for mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. When does it stop? When does it stop? It's been a, this is what we do. Mm -hmm. We're going to use our airwaves to break each other down and to build each other up. Nah, man. No, that's not why we wear dresses. Ain't a gay bone in my body. Gayest thing about me is my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it works. It makes honestly, sense, huh? And not to say it, but I'm not a whole motherfucker bother. I got gay friends. I'm comfortable enough as a man that I can wear a dress and still feel like a man. Right. I could, I, I, I'm doing comedy. So I'm gonna continue to do comedy. And when you do it right, you know, you know when you do it right. You know why black people ain't ri mad at Robin, uh, Robert uh, Downey Jr. for doing the character in Tropic Thunder? Because he was funny. It was funny. He didn't downplay black people. He just did the black guy. He felt like he was in character. Right. Let's talk about this right quick. Mm -hmm. Our culture, and I'm not just saying black culture, but you know what? Sometimes, yes, black culture, we criminalize ourselves so much. Yeah, we hard on ourselves. Like, even us as reactors, we're stating our opinions about something. People will come into the comment section, but as a Christian, blah, blah, blah. As husband and wife, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. As parents, blah, blah, blah. Let me state my opinion and go on. Like, you don't know nothing about my real life. I feel you on that a thousand percent. Um people take titles and they use that to discredit your comment mm -hmm. because if you are this person in this title then you shouldn't talk about this but if you're talking about this then you shouldn't be this title mm -hmm. and then they try to make that title lose its value because you're talking about a topic that most people are probably uncomfortable talking about right but because you're comfortable in it mm -hmm. they think you're supposed to be uh they, well they're going to judge you for it right, so, right you know what i'm saying instantly and i don't think that is it's nowhere near fair again it's like a sensitive uh society that we're just living in right now almost uh, yeah where you can't speak on too many things without someone breaking the internet wall and saying hey yeah <clears throat> i'm about to finger war this month to death yeah it's like you know what i'm saying it's like Bruh, it's, it's crazy work let's take down your fake page <laughs> <laughs> let's see what's going on in your life so we could judge you first of all red flag the fake Bruh. page the fake page so who wrong so who really wrong <laughs> <laughs> come on it man makes no sense, just but... long paragraphs but another coin to that is like there's some comedy that's so dark that i can't laugh at i agree i can't laugh at you talking about an underage girl i, agree. I can't laugh at you talking about an assault you know so there's and, and then again art is subjective mm -hmm. you like what you like you don't like what you don't like it's your preference yeah yeah it was funny, and it came from a good place. Right. So black people ain't mad at that. It wasn't like he was making fun and mockery of us. Right. When we did White Chicks, right, mockery is based from flattery. You want to tell a good joke? The person that you're making fun of, they should laugh the loudest. You know who loved the White Chicks the most? 
white people. All white chicks. Mm. Black people loved it too. But that was why the movie's a classic movie. And you know, it's sad, you know, that we haven't done a sequel. But see, there's a difference between we, we do sequels and when they do sequels. And I'm not that guy to be like, white man, this and the, you know, I don't complain. I just do my work, man, right? right? I do, I, I'm too busy creating and being a force to sit there and lick my wounds and look at doors and beg them to throw out a bone. Would you be willing Come to do on. a sequel? <laughs> yeah, but. You don't know you're to go over When now. Tom Cruise do a sequel to a hit movie, they go, here's $50 million with 50% of it back in. Mm -hmm. Niggas do a sequel to a movie like, can you do the same movie for half the budget and you make a quarter of what you made the first time? <laughs> what kind of math is this? Didn't you, if we're doing a sequel, wasn't it successful? I got to make a bigger, better movie and I'm not going to cheat the audience. I'd rather not do it and let the classic just be a classic. They marinate. Right, and in the meantime, I'll create something new and create a new classic and we'll form a different business based on that. But if you want to bring somebody back to a classic thing and a classic franchise and you gotta make it bigger and better then I can't I can't creatively marginalize myself by the financials not adding up. Cuz bro it's like just because people speak facts that don't mean that they're complaining. If I'm if I made a great movie and then I go back to make a double and you're telling me that I'm gonna get paid half of what I'm getting paid for the first one. Mm -hmm. But the first one did crazy numbers. Mm -hmm. Me stating the facts that I'm better than what you're trying to give me, it doesn't mean I'm complaining. I'm telling you, you know, it's, it, I'm not complaining about it. It's mm -hmm. just stating the facts. But people look at that and say, "Oh, there they go." Complaining again. There they go. There's not good enough. Mm -hmm. They want more. No, it's facts because you wouldn't want a whole sandwich and then your next go around you get a piece. Right. It's like what happened? What changed? Right. So if you work this week at work, your check is this. But the next week they want you to do double the work. But they cutting back on your check. How would you feel? Oh, we actually, y'all, we got story mm. times for days, okay? <laughs> we actually had a problem like that. It was crazy at, at enough. Dion's, one of Dion's last jobs. Oh, that was some crazy Bro. math for you. Like, who y'all think we is? What well, we not account, making sure everything is accounted for every hour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is halftime? <laughs> and not time and a half. <laughs> Child, listen. It's like, That's a whole other story. And that wasn't even taxes. I'm just what, saying. What is halftime? <laughs> Let's, let's, let's get off. Oh, oh my! Listen. No, they Lord. was trying to get a quick one out of me. Yeah, yeah. Work is extra time. Yeah, we gonna just take half of that. That's what, basically what it was. Yeah. Basically what it was. Half. Half of that. Of the original. It wasn't over time. It was you're working half time, but you're working it, but you're working half of it. Y'all understand what we're saying here? All right. right. <laughs> There's a situation, and and white chicks. I had Monique on, and Monique said, you guys stole one of her jokes. Mm. What is this thing about joke stealing? Mm. I love Monique. I'm not going to, I love my sister. When she goes out for her money and things like that, I want, I, get your money, sis. Right. If you, if, if you feel that your value was that, get it. I hope you get every last single dollar, and I hope they put another million on top of it. Right. Magical performance in, uh, in, uh, Precious. Precious. Only super talented, man. And, um, but when it comes to like stealing her joke, no, <laughs> I don't need to steal joke. That's an old joke. That's a, like a knock knock joke. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, that's not a specific joke. Right. It, that joke been around for years. I never even saw it. It was right. just something we was like on set and was like, oh, you know what be funny? If we did the baby powder. <laughs> right. But I'm not, I would never steal. I wouldn't steal anybody's joke. I think it's a, I think it's a crime. To steal jokes, I don't. I don't steal them. That diminishes my returns as a writer. I'd rather punch your joke and gift you that. I go watch comedians sometimes. Right. If I'm watching your set and you're about to go, I go, hey, you know, you should try this right here. But but I right. good. I don't go. I don't. I oh, ain't stole my joke. That's why for me now. If it ain't personal, I ain't doing it. Right. I do sets that's about my pain. And I go, what's funny about my pain? Because yeah. it's part therapy and it's part, yeah. that's where the best humor comes from. Mm -hmm. And so you can't steal my pain. You can't steal my life. I have a personal journey. If you hear somebody go, man, I'm the youngest of 10 kids. Nigga, is you? <laughs> <laughs> so, that's no, great. I would never steal a joke. I, I love Monique. Respects to Monique. Um, I love you, sis, but no, that, that's not how it went down. Want to join Club Shay Shay? I can ah. talk about that. Go for I it. I want to talk about because right I got to, I'm trying not to be too personal, but I'm a writer. I talk about this all the time mm. when, when it's relevant. 
I'm a writer and that's my gift. That's not me saying, oh, I like what they do. They make good money over there. Let me do this. No, that's my gift. That's my life's purpose. Mm -hmm. I lended my gift to people to help. But in the end, I ended up hurting myself. Mm. So I said my gift is no longer for sale because I write with pain. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm writing things that needs to be told. You know, so I yeah. can't lend my gift anymore. And hopefully y'all understand what I'm saying. That's that's like you being, that's like a person, a high schooler, right? Right. They, they have dreams of being in the NFL, but they're overexerting themselves to help out at a little league or whatever. But they're missing out camps over here and they're missing out opportunities to train with this NFL star, right? Mm -hmm. And so they have no nothing left to give themselves. So in the end, they don't accomplish that goal of getting in the NFL. That's like that. Yeah, you're breaking down the the, the phrase "your dream makes uh, room for you." Right. Um, but if right. you're telling everybody your dream, then how much room you have left to execute it if they're doing it too? Yeah. But 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 in some cases, like Marlon Wayne's here, he takes what other people are doing in his field of work and mm -hmm. he's listening to them act. He's taking what other people do in his field of work and he's adding value to it. Right, right. Instead of telling people, well, just what I would have done. Mm -hmm. He's actually just adding value to it. So it's kind of the same thing, right? Um, but at the end of the day, it's like, it's only so much that you can give a person before you're sitting here empty. And I was leaving empty you know with nothing yeah. else left to give myself. Mm, yeah. Whew. All right, y'all. Okay. I don't know how I ended up talking about that. It's I relatable. Guess it, uh, yeah. It's relatable. Yeah. He's speaking some relatable facts. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Um, and that's what I love about these interview reactions. Yeah, yeah. And I, I kind of slap my, myself on the wrist a lot of times because um, I'm very bright. I'm a very bright individual, and I got a lot of different talents that I can work with. So if I'm in the field of, let's say, drawing, and I see someone else, I'm drawing, I got this fire idea that I can draw and make it a tattoo. I wouldn't tell it to somebody. Mm -hmm. But if I see I'm in the field of drawing and I got an idea for a tattoo and somebody's sitting there and they're looking for an idea, I can instantly look at their craft and tell them what I can see in their craft. Mm -hmm. It ain't mine. I don't want it. I can see it in yours, though. Mm -hmm. And I will offer that to them. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But then oftentimes people don't take that as a value. Mm -mm. They just kind of run with it and they'll right. look back at as you and be is. like, you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. they don't look back at you not at once right. and say that you've done anything to in any level for that person's progress. Right. And I'm not looking for a hand or shake for nothing. Not, not no credibility, all. but at the end of the day, at some time it just plays back on you where it's like, maybe I should just not say nothing. Yeah, do Cause you? Because it, it didn't matter. Right. Do you know what I went through just so you could have that? Yeah, I went through a lot of experiences to build this type of mindset to now that when I'm around certain people who are doing certain things, I can pour into your cup too without emptying mine. Right. Oh, Lord. Yeah. There's that. Yeah. <laughs> I made me sweat. Yeah, I love when okay. the videos we watch creates conversations gotta That's stir something to. yeah you gotta know? stir something up all right y'all we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us be sure to subscribe we'll see you soon peace <laughs>